All right, election day has come and gone, but we are still waiting for some results to be finalized. However, there is an upcoming deadline for candidates and their supporters. It has nothing to do with party affiliation, and our Sam Rogers is here to explain. Sam, good morning. Hey, good morning, Hannah and Lee. And how many of us drive by these every day? Campaign signs and public right-of-way areas went up weeks ahead of election day. So when do they have to come down? Well, according to Maine law, these signs can only be displayed for 12 weeks a year, but not consecutively. It's broken up in two six week time frames. So public facing signs can be up for six weeks from January 1st to June 30th and from July 1st through the end of the year. That means any signs placed in late September and early October need to be removed this week. Technically, if someone placed signs a few days before the election, they can stay up until next month. That 2020 law requires each sign to be labeled with its owner's name, address and the date it was put up so it can be tracked. Most of the signs you'll see are essentially plastic cardboard and can't be recycled, but those made of paper can be. The metal stakes that hold up signs can be left in a scrap metal bin at your local transfer station or repurposed in the garden, and your local town or city may be collecting old signs or you can save them for a future election. And remember, under state law, it is a civil violation if a person steals, defaces, or disturbs a sign. Those signs on public property can stay up for as long as the landowner wants. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.